Okay. Some more light modes over here from Corsair's IQ software. Some more updated stuff. We have a touch of a strobe. Man, that is stroby. This is a slow rainbow. Just kind of goes from one color to the other. Nice and easy and gradually. It's kind of nice. This one I call fireworks. Just kind of you know, try to do a little firework action inside the computer. And boom, bang, pow. There it is. Oh ho ho, there we see a little kitty catty. It's a little tidy baby. Good job, little kitty. That's my little computer kitty. Trying to get in on the video action. That's right, baby. You're famous. Let's see if we can't call you over here a little bit. Oh, what is this? One of your favorite little toys. Yeah, come on, baby. There's a good kitty. We saw the no light with just the motherboard breathing. This is also a no light, but now I have temperatures showing on the front fans. I have my CPU as the top fan, my GPU as the middle fan, and my hydro cooler as the bottom. And they just go from one color to another, depending on what temperature you set and what you have it following. You know, VRM temperatures, processor temps, uh, GPU temps, motherboard temps. You could even do have your fans follow your uh, drive temperatures. Not sure why, but you can very customizable in every light mode you can set up what you want this is my inspection lighting or just a white light get in there and see all the goodies that are happening you can get a nice look at that fake 50 grand in there ramping up air over the basement of the power supply and alleviating some turbulence i also made a little bit of a nose cone for my video card to do the same just get a air over and under it I kind of like it this is a fidget I call it a lot of things are kind of happening and a few uh, slow runners and a fast runner in there and if you're feeling fidgety this is all right to look at basic red This is baby's heritage. That's right. That's what that was all about. We have excited. It's kind of a celebratory unit. You know, maybe if you have little birthdays or Fourth of July, we got fireworks for that as well, which is pretty good. Here's a root, or root of all evil, maybe that green glow with a 50 grand and the rest of it red and if you watch my ram back there you'll see it's a little green right now it goes back to red kind of showing the link between the love of money and evil we got just a basic green temp besides it's just funny to show off that fake 50 grand I finally put it to good use basic green see this one I call time because of a kind of a rhythmic movement of the lights a little bit clockworky a little mechanically kind of uh, was my mindset when I was trying to buckle this together I think it looks all right this is called shift um, and it's very much like the rainbow, but uh, it settles into a color and stays there for a while. Then it quickly kind of changes to the next. Instead of gradually, evenly shifting through them all, it pauses a bit. It's kind of, it's alright, it's alright. 
We have Ferrari mode. We like to uh, follow Ferrari on the F1 circuit and uh, cheer when they win and say stuff like what the heck when they don't. Ah, so that's very nice. The top lights up there are kind of like some engines, engine island, da, 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 you know, kind of a feel with a lot of good red and yellow. And my temp sensors on this one are on the back LED strip, the Italian flag. It's the top three dots, top three green guys up there are my processor at the top, my GPU middle, and hydro cooler in, on the bottom. Here's Italy goes along with our Ferrari profile same temp lights back in the Italian flag of the rear strip back there very nice we dialed in a real pretty purple for baby um, baby really liked the purple so we had to do that you know it's, it's actually kind of nice too very pleasant to look at we got a white Christmas or if it does snow at Christmas, we can fire this off. We put this mode on here and there. It's kind of nice, you know. We all like that Christmassy time. And when it snows, it's even nicer. We have a pastel dream. Just some pastel colors ripping through, you know. Very nice blue green ocean dream kind of wanted to do this because uh, there's some real beautiful waters out there around the world seas and lakes and oceans and whatnot and they have some real pretty coloring bluish green turquoise you know it's uh, nice and relaxing I like that here we have a headache I call this mode this particular light wave is supposed to uh, help, you know, get rid of headaches and uh, stuff of that nature. So, uh, we trying that and I don't know, I mean, it works if you think it works, I think is how that works, my man. Blue, very nice. This one I call Thunderstorm. If you notice, I made some nice uh, lightning effects on the two top fans that are exhausting in the top of the case there. You'll see some lightning kind of travel through from one to the other and they're timed a bit differently so it doesn't always look the same which is kind of nice. Yeah, that's a little bit of a little bit of lightning going on there. Thunder, you gotta fill in yourself and just go boom, 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 boom. you know, stuff to that type of a nature. Here's Avalanche. You see that sucker starting in that top fan and pushing out to the other ones? Oh man, the snow. It's coming through. Oh, oh yeah, very nice. I like it. Got a little pause between avalanches, give you that false sense of security. You're out there having a good time. Everything looks nice. It's a nice day. And then a little pop snag and buckle and, and an avalanche comes to say hello. That is quite serious. Oh, man, I got quite the delay between those. Ah, sweet, sweet avalanche. Come through, come through. Yeah, beauty, beauty. Takes a little time to set all these up. Uh, some are more labor intensive than others. Well, really time intensive than others. Getting all the little custom lighting to do this, that. This is Twinkle. It's uh, quite a bit dimmer than the white lighting. It still is white lighting, uh, but you know, everything's just a little twinkly and shimmery and looks nice, I believe. And, you know, if I like it, then uh, then I know I'm okay with it, I think is how it mainly comes down. We have some moonlight. Some real nice moonlight. Um, I got a little cloud, kind of, that goes across the moon back there. See how it just darkened up a little bit? 
just kind of like if a cloud passed in front of the moon you might not necessarily see the cloud but you'd see the moon dim a touch and just some atmosphere and t atmospheric type lighting on them top two exhaust fans you know it's kind of nice here we have a snow day so I have a little yellow in there at the top to give up a little sun coming through the clouds and then you know mostly blue for the coldness and little snow that way it actually shows up if it's the, bl the background's blue you can see it a little bit better yeah very nice sunny day kind of have the sun intensity changing a bit as well it's really subtle I don't know if you can tell, but the grass on the bottom is a little twinkly. You know, just a nice little effect. Bring a little sun in from the outside. It's not the worst thing. A little sunrise for the morning. That's always exciting. It has a nice calm feel to it. You can kick it off when you're just getting up and nothing's hitting you too hard, you know. Everything is just easy easy does it easy does it okay this is a special mode right about here that i like to call no baby no sometimes baby try to bite me sometimes baby tell me to do things like i don't know like trash and wash the dishes and i say no baby no and i turn this on so baby knows that you know i'm very tight with the local law enforcement because look, look, look at my computer. It's doing a law enforcement type of maneuver to scare baby. That's right, baby. Be afraid. Here we have deep dive. Kind of got a lot of shimmering in there. With a fairly turquoisey kind of a low light. I like all the shimmer in there. It kind of gives that feeling of being underwater and whatnot. And, and then on the back fan um the single back one you can see there's some air bubbles that get released from time to time make you feel like you may in fact be scuba diving look at those bubbles go so that's that uh, deep dive effect there very nice very nice of course we have fire i had to make a nice little fire mode you know so uh, we can warm the house up when it's chilly we'll just load test the cpu and the gpu and save well probably not save probably pay a lot more for less heat hey it is what it is that's right computer wins <laughs> very nice fire here we have a relax mode where i think they call it a ping pong effect on the uh, top three fans Kind of looks like they're you know uh, uh hitting a little ping pong ball back and forth you know the the ball itself is kind of blue and the paddles are red and they just appear when they go to a pop and back to the other side it's nice kind of a nice relaxing maneuver they all just kind of are cool to look at especially because i made them you know if you make your own man you're gonna love them i'll tell you that here we have a live with a little touch of the blue breathing and a little red heartbeat back there very nice oh very nice we have max cooling all my light modes except for this one follow uh, have the fans set to follow certain curves of certain components uh, so when they heat up the fans come up uh, this one I have the fans go up to maximum case flow So the fronts are bringing in as much as they can their full rpm and then I balanced out the top two In the very back one to go ahead and leave me a little bit of positive case pressure, but basically make it as neutral flow as possible um, So yeah, I have different rpm set for those top fans just because the one that's closest on the top the one that's closest to the intake fans you don't want that bad boy ripping up a storm at full rpm because it's really going to take fresh air directly out before it does a whole lot 
So that one I kind of have going at its lowest RPMs pretty much all the time just to maintain a bit of flow in that, that little sector, you know, pull up a little little uh, air from the bottom. Since it is overpressurized, we've got some air kind of uh, uh, swirling looking for exits. So uh, we're going to keep it on that level and just barely give it a pull. The one behind it on top, the one that's a little farther away, it's running higher, about 750 RPM just chilling and it kicks up to almost a thousand that very back one I have going uh, I think at about 850 just at idle um, and it does go up to a uh, 1250 I think almost 1300 when it uh, goes all the way up and you know really I just kind of have them as they go up through their uh, speeds I want to maintain what I have in there as far as a little bit of a positive case pressure Oh, baby text us. Oh, very nice, baby. And this is just chilling mode where I just have some rainbowy colors floating about nice and slow and relax a touch. This is the default mode. Whatever mode or whatever profile you have at the top of the list in your IQ, when you restart your system, that's the mode that it'll be on so you can kind of have it do what you want and there's also a setting in there for when IQ isn't running what kind of colors do you want and I pretty much want to show off that it's not running so that I'm very aware that something happened because IQ does crash here and there haven't had it cause any crazy problems but you know a couple of crashes a week I'm getting for sure anyway everything is happy at this time so I'm happy as well. Everybody have a good day.